Hello, I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon, and today I have an amazing 1951 Ford F1 half-ton pickup to show you. Now, this particular truck completely restored and certainly nicely upgraded uh, by a professional outfit here uh, near me, and I want to take you around and show you the quality and the components and so forth utilized to build this truck. It, it's absolutely beautiful. So. Uh, obviously the first thing we see is the paint. I want to talk to you a little bit about that paint. Uh, this is called McKenna Sand. Uh, sort of a beige, but take a look at the metallic you can see in that. This is a Charlie Hutton brand paint. And Charlie Hutton, if you don't know who that was, uh, probably a lot of you do. You know, and he, he was uh, Boyd Coddington's painter. And uh, he has his own shop and he has developed uh, his own paint and color. Uh, colors for paint and so this is one of them so very nice beautiful base coat clear coat uh, check out the trim this is original trim but it is beautiful I mean it's got to be better than it ever was new the chrome is excellent on it and you got a very subtle red pinstripe just along each fender very subtle very clean beautiful uh, wheels and tires, uh, these are 15 inch steely wheels, uh, obviously painted uh, to contrast the truck as well as, you know, in the interior. Uh, but, you know, you've got your chrome uh, hubcaps and beauty rings along with uh, wide white wall radials all around. The truck's got a nice little hot rod stance so it sits low in the front and that was accomplished, you know, with drop spindles and so forth. Uh, independent Mustang II front suspension, uh, coilovers in the back, but we'll talk a little bit more about that later. All of the chrome and bright work is excellent. All the glass is new. All of the hardware is excellent as well. The chrome doors open and close very easily. The uh, running boards, of course, these are steel as well. And your fasteners, your chrome fasteners, whatnot, excellent, and your step. Door panel paint, same as the exterior of the truck. Windows roll up and down nicely. All the weather stripping, of course, is new and, and when it was painted. And this is a pull, so you can close the door right here. That's how they did it. It's notched that a little bit right there. That's how it was back in the day. The seating uh, bench seat here, beautiful. Very, it's like glove soft. It is absolutely excellent. And with this diamond uh, pattern with the contrasting light stitching, it just gives it that cool, uh, never-go-out-of-style look. Uh, little glove box here and nicely painted. They did an excellent job. This does have air conditioning and it does work. Got an aftermarket stereo here and all the chrome and bright work on the dash is nice as well. And of course we can't live now without these USB ports. If you want to charge your phone or run your sound equipment you can. Carpeting, very quality, nice uh, light you know, if you want to call it beige or sand color, it's all got the nice uh, welting you can see around here. This is your air conditioning heat system. Don't even, just barely need to close the door. I mean, look at this. You know, you just kind of walk up and push it. Door gaps, nice. This truck was very well done. I, I don't know how it could be any nicer to tell you the truth. Got a nice size big back window here, easy to see out of the truck. Again, you know, nice weather stripping around the, the windows and so forth is excellent. Now the bed, uh, originally this bed would have had a wood slat and uh, steel slats, uh, you know, but they went with a, this metal and it has been uh, rhino lined and painted to match the rest of the truck. So I still probably wouldn't throw any gravel, rocks, or anything in it, but, you know, a person could go to pick up their, you know, 84-inch screen TV if you wanted to. It's 
got the updated fuel door. So all you have to do is put the nozzle in just like you would if it was a new car. Fasteners back here, all nice and stainless, beautiful. New chains with your coating on it. Everything about this truck is exemplary. I mean, here's a little bit of a contrasting paint you can see here. Uh, Ford embossed into the into the tailgate and uh, this nice beautiful new bumper and all the nice you know bright work even the bracketry is bright as you can see nice dual exhaust system let me take you a minute or two here take a minute or two to tell you a little bit about the website westcoastcollectorcars.com where of course there's pictures of the truck but I also have a text ad that kind of hits the bullet points of the truck um, hopefully it'll tell you a little bit more uh, about it uh, than I'm telling you here. A little spot there to wipe off. Bugging me. Uh, but more importantly, the undercarriage. You want to see that nice new beefy exhaust under there. Um, you've got independent front suspension, Mustang 2, coilovers in the rear. Now the engine, this is a 4.6 liter uh, three valve V8, which is what you would find uh, in the Mustang GTs. Uh, there were 300 horse, and if you got an automatic, it was a five-speed automatic, and that's exactly what this is. Differential is from an Explorer, and it, it's highway geared. So it, this thing, you know, again, it drives like a car. So, <laughs> And with that, you know, newer engine and everything, you're not going to have any trouble, and it's not going to have any leaks either, right, the old car? But... Take in the interior on this side. The steering wheel is a custom built uh, by Contour, and there's an outfit that's oh, about 50, 60 miles north of me here near Portland, and they will build you a custom steering wheel, much like this one uh, was custom built. But you know, if you have some ideas or whatever, uh, they can uh, build a, you know, just about anything you want for your hot rod. Got these nice antique-looking gauges here. Again, uh, air conditioning, power steering. Power brakes, of course. Again, you know, you see the trim and bright work even on the door panels. I mean, they just did a fantastic job. They carried the red uh, in the interior into the door panel as well as the dash. Nice. I mean, the doors, I mean, again, just close the door. <laughs> you don't have to slam it or anything, which is good. You don't want to be slamming the doors. You don't have to on any of these classic cars. Up front here, your nice chrome hood ornamentation is excellent all this has been re-chromed the grill is nice well, the paint is beautiful up here it's not no, no flaws in the paint nice chrome bumper so I want to show you that 4.6 liter engine in here so again, 4.6 liter, three valve engine, which you would find in a Mustang GT. That's uh, your power brake setup, of course. K&N filter system. Nice big aluminum radiator. 
electric fan that comes on uh, thermostatically controlled, so you don't have to worry about that. Up under the hood is excellent as well. Uh, similar uh, rhino lined like uh, the bed and in the bracketry here, all nice and finished off. This was a very uh, expensive high-end build and it's a super fun truck to drive, easy to drive. And as you probably would guess, it gets pretty decent gas mileage. Now typically I wouldn't care about that, but I guess today we kind of have to care about that. Hood closes nice and easy. Everything aligns nice up here. So what I'd like to do now is I'll hop in the truck. I'm going to start it so you can hear it start, hear it run. And I'm just going to drive it around the parking lot here a little bit so you can kind of see what it looks like moving under its own power. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to you know take on a long ride or anything. But yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful truck. You can't go wrong. I mean, it's... Yeah, it's as nice as they come. It really is. This is a truck that you're going to jump in and start driving and you're not going to want to get out of it. I mean, you got nice looking gauges, you got tunes if you want them. I like hearing the engine, of course, but, uh, uh, you know, air conditioning, everything works. You know, electric wipers, of course. Everything is just clean and done to the nines on this truck. No disappointments. I'm here to tell you, it's as nice as they come. Take a look at the website again, you know, uh, westcoastcollectorcars.com and check out the undercarriage. Beautiful as well. Of course, no rust, I should tell you that. You know, I know there isn't, and you know there isn't either, but you need to know that. No rust, this was an Oregon truck. So, yeah, it's a, a fantastic, fantastic truck. But if I can answer any further questions for you about this 1951 F1, please don't hesitate to give me a call again. My name is Rich Dean and this is West Coast Collector Cars. My number is 503-851-6763 and thank you for watching today.